Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads, uh, if a cylinder E has a mass of 20 kg and uh, each cable segment can sustain a maximum tension of 400 newtons, determine the largest mass of cylinder F that can be supported. Also, what is SAG YC solution? This problem is coming from the Engineering Mechanics and Statics a textbook, the 10th edition by R.C. Hibela. Right. So what do we do here? We've been asked to find the sag YC. We have been asked to find the largest mass of the cylinder F. Right, so let me assume this angle here is my alpha. And then this one here is my beta. Okay. And then this one here is my gamma. So let me say alpha is less than uh, beta I'm assuming now and alpha is also less than gamma this is my assumption therefore I'll go with a b so let my a b tension a b b go to 400 newton because we've been told of course each can uh, each segment can support uh, the maximum tension of 400 but we have to assume one cable and then do the calculation and check the tensions in the other cables right and what is important there is uh to assume the the correct one right and this is uh my criteria all right because i know when this angle reduces the tension in the cable reduces as well all right so if this is the case then let's go quickly to joint b because i have my tension already in b so i'm saying in there i have the 400 newtons and then I have, uh, this is a 20 by 9.81. Okay. What else? And then I have a cable here, this cable here, this cable here, which has, which is a BC. So let me assume this angle here as my uh, theta. All right. That's my theta okay so with that angle there what we are going to do now is since we already have the slope for this one uh we have a uh, we have a uh, a 1.5 a 2 run and then this is going to be 2.5 right Great, so let's find the components quickly. We expect a component there which is a 400 by uh, 1.5 divided by 2.5 and we will have a component there which is 400 by a 2 divided by 2.5 then we have some more components here this is BC by this is BC cos theta then let's go there. This is BC sine theta. So we apply the equations of equilibrium. Summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero. We have 400 by 1.5 over 2.5. 400 by 1.5. So this is equal to 240 minus 240 plus BC cos theta equal to zero. And then we have summation we have summation of forces in the y direction uh, what do we have we have 400 by 2 divided by 2.5 we have a 320 this is a 320 minus 20 by 9.81 this is 196.2 then uh, minus bc sine theta equal to zero okay so we have these two equations so this final gives us this final gives us a 123.8 minus bc sine theta equal to zero we can solve the two equations so we have bc sine theta equal to 123.8 divided by bc cos theta divided by 
to 14. Therefore, this becomes tan. This becomes tan theta, which is equal to 123 point divided by 240. Therefore, theta is just going to be equal to, you can calculate that, 123.8 divided by 240. This we get a 27 point by 28. 62 degrees okay so this is the angle here that we have found okay so with this angle we can find because we know this distance here this distance here seeing this distance this distance here is equal to yc minus uh, 2 right no this distance is y c yes minus two yes that's correct so now with that angle there it means uh which is this angle here right so we are able to find since we know this one is two and that is theta we can find what that is right so let's work it out okay can work it out here so we know that um we know that tan theta is equal to yc minus 2 divided by 2 right and this is already known um tan theta theta is already known as 27.2862 degrees Therefore, YC is going to be equal to, so we have tan, tan theta is uh, that, and then times 2, times 2, okay, times 2, and then plus 2. So our YC is going to be equal to 3.031. Meters. All right. So we have our YC somewhere there, three zero three one six seven meters. We have our our theta that we just found is twenty seven point two eight six two degrees, and then we have our uh, let's find what BC is. Our uh, BC therefore is going to be equal to we can calculate BC from here okay from here BC is going to be equal to uh, cos 27.2862 and uh, then 240 divided by that so our BC is 270.2 uh, zero 05 neutrons right so bc is equal to 270.05 newtons all right so we found bc we found everything so what we need to do is to move to and we found uh yc let's move to uh the joint 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 c okay okay so let's go to join c join c what we have a join c a join c uh, we have this force f which is a uh, uh, mass times uh, 9.81 so we just say We'll say 9.81 m. Or let's just call it mass. Okay, F for now. Alright, and then BC, we found BC. Of course, we have this cable there uh, with this slope of theta. And we are going to have components there. We have components there. BC is a uh, 270.05 so 
so we have these two components there like so this is equal to 270.05 cos uh, 27.2862 and 270.05 sine uh, 27.2862 alright what else do we have we also have this force here which is CD so CD is going to have and you CD um, we know what this length is here we find that we know this because we know yc so yc minus 1 this gives us a 2.03 is that fine 2.03167 okay so uh, this bottom one is and the run is 2, the rise is 2.03167 and this therefore is going to be equal to root of 2 squared 2 squared plus 2.03167 this is 8.1277 alright so we have that so we are going to have two components also here we'll have one component like this and another one like that so this one is cd uh, 2 divided by root of 8.1277 and then this one is a uh, cd by 2.0103167 divided by root of 8.1277 okay so then let's find what cd is we just need one equation um, okay mm -hmm. so summation of forces in the y i mean in the x we find cd first equal to zero we have minus 270.05 cos 27 Point two eight six two um, plus CD to root of eight point one two seven seven. Therefore, our CD is going to be equal to two divided by root of eight point one two seven seven. Okay, and then we have two seventy point zero five cos. 27.2862 divided by answer so this gives us a 342.11 all right i'll leave it like this and then summation of forces in the y equal to zero we have a cd okay 2.03167 divided by root of 8.1277 uh, plus 270.05 sine uh, 27.2862 and then minus f equal to zero therefore my f is going to be equal to so let me write down cd somewhere cd is equal to uh, 342.11 newtons so 342.11 okay times 2.03167 divided by root of 8.1277 plus 270.05 sine 27.2862 okay so this finally gives us a value of three six three six three six seven point six zero newtons all right 
so this is our f which is 367.60 newtons so let's check whether our alpha is really smaller so we found everything so let's convert this to mass therefore our mass for this one the mass for this one mass is going to be equal to f divided by g which is equal to 36 367.6 divided by 9.81 therefore our mass is going to be equal to uh, 37.47 kgs so mass mass largest mass for f is going to be equal to 37.47 kgs right let's rub this let's rub this um okay let's check our alpha this alpha this value here let's check alpha okay uh, we know it's two and uh, so our alpha there is going to be equal to arctan arctan of 1.5 divided by 2 this gives us this gives us a 36.87 right okay 1.5 divided by 2 36.87 right then beta which is uh this one here beta uh, beta is equal to actan um, 2 divided by uh, divided by uh, yc minus 2 what is yc the sag is 3 minus 2 so this becomes a 1.03167 so what is this 2 divided by 1.031767 okay So this is a 62.71 degrees and gamma which is this one here all right we have a two then there we have a two so this one is actan actan 2 divided by 2.03167 so this one is a 44.55 degrees so for sure gamma i mean alpha is less than beta and alpha is also less than gamma therefore our assumption was correct you can try it for other ones you see what it is the assumption was correct all right great so let's write down the summary we write down the summary okay so we have the sag is equal to 3.03 .03 meters uh, bc of course we had assumed our a b to be equal to 400 okay and from there we found bc equal to 270 newtons 270.5 newtons less than 400 that's the maximum tension okay great we also found cd equal to 342.11 newtons less than 400 okay then we finally found f as uh, um, the newtons as 367.60 newtons and the mass f mass f equal to 37.47 kgs all right i think this is about it and yeah, this is about it uh this is the summary of uh, the problem and uh we i hope the video was helpful if it was give me a thumbs up like my video and continue sharing my channel and subscribing bye bye and see you in my next uh, screencast